So we are thrilled today. We have a special guest with us. We've got Karen. And Karen, you have been affiliated with the Touch of Understanding for a long time. Yes, ma'am. You you told me that you first met Leslie, one of the co-founders. What? You've known her 20 years? 20 years. Wow. Yes. So when did you first get started with the Touch of Understanding? So I met Leslie 20 years ago. Okay. And then five, five and a half years ago, I became more active as a volunteer. Okay. And Doing what? Various things, mostly counting the, um, I went through like the critiques that the kids gave from their classes, which okay. were phenomenal. Oh, the evaluations? The evaluations. Okay. Okay. You know, help them tally them up and, and stuff like that. I did that for, what, about a year, I think it was. And then got interested a little bit in Youth Force. Okay. Oh, good. Um, so you've worked with Youth Force and, and Mr. Nolan? I've worked with Mr. Nolan um, for a couple of years. Yeah, after, yeah. You know on the Monday night things and then help set up some of the parties. Okay. Which are kind of fun to be at. They, they were, they're, the kids are a hoot. <laughs> and so what are some of the other things that you've done with ATOU? Oh, we've done river rafting. Okay. Um, then a couple of the um, fundraising events. Okay. Um, yeah, you were chaired the a uh, couple times in a row. The e uh, well, the, you did the evening of insight last year. Right. You chaired that, and then the year before you were chairing art from the heart. Is that correct? Uh, that's correct. Okay. And watching it all come together and the work of these folks was phenomenal. The kids did a a an eagle design which they painted themselves and helped put it together. Uh, Jeannie Calhoun helped them. Okay. And. It was, a, it was an area where they could go have their picture taken and remember what they did. Oh, that's cool. And it was, it was really kind of cool. And then last year, oh my gosh. <laughs> it, it's, I can't say enough about this group. I, I just can't, you know. Well, the evening of Insight turned out to be pretty amazing. And, uh, so much so that we're going to do it again in uh, March of 2020. And I'm excited for it because the experience that I've heard people discuss is beyond words. Having experienced a dark meal myself. Why don't you explain what that is so people that may not know? So, when I attended the dark meal, I was led into a room and I was led blindfolded. Oh, okay. And then we ate a meal with these blindfolds on and got to experience the sensations that someone who is blind would go through. Okay. And it, it just enlightens you so much and it's an awe experience. And to see 200 people do it all at the same time, do yeah. it all at the same time, <laughs> and and still have fun, it was great. Yes, yeah, so it was pretty amazing. That yeah. was a really good event, and I know that we've got uh, Freddie is going to be our auctioneer this year, and so it's going to be an even bigger and, and more spectacular event. And on. and I can't wait because there's so many other people out there that need to experience this. Absolutely, it, is, it changes your attitude. Mm -hmm. and it changes. You have a different respect, mm -hmm. and, and that's what people need: yep. respect. It's impactful. It's yeah. very impactful. So let me ask you a question. Uh huh. Would you like to hear one of Nolan's jokes? Nolan has a joke. Oh, he's full of them. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. Think. Yeah, sure. Go for it, Nolan. Uh, which one of Santa's reindeer are dinosaurs most afraid of? Dancers most afraid of dinosaurs. <laughs> dinosaurs. No. Hmm. Okay. Rudolph. Nope. Common. Common. <laughs> okay, I walked into that one. <laughs> you know, he does have a son. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure that's where he gets these from. <laughs> well, he actually got them from a bunch of popsicle sticks. <laughs> oh no, you did not. Hey, he, he sure did. did. <laughs> yes, he did. Okay, see, so, so guys. Even Nolan's still a kid. Yep, <laughs> of course. A kid at heart. A kid at heart. Well, Karen, we are just so thrilled that you've been such a, a, a supporter and such a big part of the Touch of Understanding for so long. And we do appreciate everything that you do. And you're a great ambassador for ATOU because you're always spreading the word and trying to see if there's other ways that other members of our community can get involved one way or another. So we 
thank you for that. And we hope that you're involved for many more years to come. Love her to yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you. Okay. I appreciate it. All right.